which is your favorite mountain in the Tour de France or the Tour de France history? Oh. We did Col de la Loza on training camp. Yes. Uh, you like this one? Yeah, I like it. I'm looking forward to this one. Also, Puy de Dome uh, will be special, I think, because you cannot always go up there. So that's also something I look forward you to. You have good memories from training camp. Yes, we were in the breakaway. In the breakaway <laughs> the stage <laughs> on Col de la Loza. So we, we enter uh, on the top. Uh, few minutes before the rest. Yes, we know this stage pretty so, well. Uh, yeah, this is on our uh, priority list. Yes, for, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a childhood memory from the tour or not really? You I didn't went? I never went to the Tour okay. de France. You? Yeah, I went a couple of times and as a kid it was a caravan that rides in front of the race and throws the candy of course that you try to get as much candy if you like. So that's a childhood memory. So you what, what you remember about the tour is the candy. Yeah? The candy, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went for the candy. Okay, so not for the cycling stars. Mm. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Alpecin product you will use during the Tour de France? Is it here? Yeah, this one. That one? Yes, and it's really fresh. Liquid? It's the coffee liquid. You put it on after the shower and it's really refreshing for it's the not head. during the shower, this one. Yeah, if you want, you can do okay. it during, but it's made for afterwards. It's, okay. <laughs> it's, it's really nice. Maybe you get I like a really cold head after a warm stage, so okay. it's nice. Good to know. And then we have some questions from the fans. And the first one is for you from Koche Koche Cycling Cafe. Uh, when you guys went training together, did Mathieu ever won a city sign sprint? And if so, did you let him win? Uh, probably ever so, yes. Probably uh, I, I couldn't take them all. Uh, I'm training. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the thing is, I know where they are. Yeah. So I'm really good at he surprising is, uh, everybody. Yeah, you know this area now quite well. Yes. Uh, you've been training a lot there. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's uh, actually on training camp. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's the day price. We yes. go to the guy who had the most city signs for sure, and we pass uh, for sure twenty. Yes, Daniel. at least. So we have to make uh, the calculations which <laughs> which one is in front or ahead, and sometimes the last ones doesn't don't matter anymore because one won already. Then we focus on another day. <laughs> what the uh, next question from Emilio Estaban? Mathieu, we have seen you racing over the past year with some very cool but also different bikes. Based on the criteria, does MVDP choose the color of his bike? Yes, I choose it myself in collaboration with Kenyon, of course, but I just go for uh, colors I like and some clean... Uh... So this color you chose yourself? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, no. That's why... Uh, that's... Which color would you choose <laughs> if no. you could choose a bike? Um, green. Yeah, green I like. Uh, it's easy to get this here for you. Eh? You just have to go for the green jersey and you'll get one. Yeah, that's my goal then to uh, <laughs> finally have also a special bike. Uh, I've been asking already for a few years to Christoph. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, another question from Manuel Gruner. Jasper, which food do you miss the most during the tour? Uh, I think French fries as a Belgian with a good Vicky burger. <laughs> it's not on the menu, uh, unfortunately, of the team. Maybe we can get it before the rest day. Yeah, that would be maybe a good thing just for the mental health as well. And, uh, <laughs> that, that's for sure something I will miss uh, and uh, we'll eat all also quite early after Paris. Yes. And you? Yeah, a bit the same, just... Uh... The food we don't get there. <laughs> it's uh, always nice to have a cheat meal sometimes, but um, yeah, a bit of candy will be nice in between the stages. Okay, with the kilo calories we burn, it's, it's probably, okay. Uh, will be probably okay. Yes. In which non-cycling sport would you want to be champion in? Golf at the moment. Which uh, championship you want to win in golf? Just one is already would be okay, I think. Yeah, but one, uh, I... The Masters. The Masters, yes. Yeah. And you, in which sport? I was, uh, play, I was playing soccer before I started cycling, but uh, yeah, I didn't have the technique. So it, uh, I could run quite well and uh, 
but I, uh, yeah, I was not made for uh, for this sport. So you choose the right sport. Yeah, probably yes. Uh. Next question from Davy van der Steeg. As a young cyclist, you have already achieved, achieved impressive performances. Are there any specific memories from your youth that still inspire and motivate you in your careers? For example, a particular race encounter or experience that shaped you as a rider? I'm 15 years old myself and I would love to follow in your footsteps. So maybe you have a good memory or something you think about? Yeah, to just always uh, try to have fun as much as possible and uh, this, uh, the road towards uh, yeah, being a prof eventually being a professional rider is, is a long way um, but yeah just um, yeah always be motivated and then uh, I think everything will follow itself if you uh, if you stay stay motivated and you have fun riding your bike it, that's already uh, Good, good ingredients towards uh, eventually success. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit cliche, but it's the same. I think you are in your best shape if you're just happy riding your bike, and then the rest will follow. And for sure, um, success, but also disappointments are part of the sport, and yes. it will both benefit you when you when you get older. Sure, you don't have. It's not only the way up no. that uh, makes you as a rider. No, for sure. So the next question is from Evelyn van der Velde and Tom de Metz. What is the craziest moment you have already experienced while racing? The craziest moment? You have a lot? <laughs> or, you or you just don't remember? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a lot, yeah. Uh, but yeah, what, what's your meaning with crazy? You, uh, you have something in your mind? that uh, you think it's crazy to tell? Yeah, crazy, I think I'm still gold race when I won, but just because yeah, it was also for me really uh, crazy what happened in the final there. So I would pick this one, but I think uh, you can tell uh, a lot of stories about every race uh, you do. So uh, we have, there are a lot of crazy uh, cyclists, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so uh, if you mean this with crazy, it's also uh, possible, but uh, yeah, I think <coughs> the sport—it's a—it's a hard sport. So we see a lot of crazy things as well, and we all fight, uh, try to fight for a good position. Um, but uh, yeah, it's—it's it's always uh, yeah, always things that uh, unexpected things that happen during the races.